Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today, I want to take the time to sort of talk about heirlooms and why they're so good, why they're important, why you should want these, and the three ways that you can acquire these awesome items. So they're really good for giving alts XP, and I'm going to sort of tell you some of the tactics things that I have been doing to sort of level all of my characters and how impactful they truly are. Are. But before we get into the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Everything you guys do helps my videos gain traction, helps them get out there, and it helps me, you know, help people with making the content and sharing my knowledge about uh, World of Warcraft, and that's pretty much my entire goal. So, let's get into the video. So, the first thing that we're going to come to, I'm Horde, obviously, the Alliance has similar vendors. Um, near your emblem of heroism and valor, Quartermasters, there is going to be an heirloom vendor. This is the first way to get them. The currency that you are going to use are going to be emblems of heroism. Um, you can get these two main ways. One of them is a one-time questing in Storm Peaks or Ice Crown. Um, you can get, I think, almost like a hundred uh, or so of those. I don't have the exact count, but that is a way to do it. If you are still leveling, I would recommend questing there. Um, definitely big emblems to be gained, so when your character hits 80, you can get them that way. But the main reoccurring source of them is... Um, doing heroic dungeons so you see a lot of people doing heroic world tours and stuff getting their pre gear for the raid but they also drop the emblems and then there's a daily quest that says go kill a bunch of people in a dungeon and it will give you it so um you can get about 53 per day if you do every single heroic and the heroic daily quest um, here in Northrend, and there are plate shoulders and chest piece for 40 um emblems as well as male leather and um cloth there are multiple male and leather ones for um, whether it's like a hunter or an enhancement shaman or a spellcaster so the strategy that i approached this with was getting these um i got this chest the cloth robe because every single character can wear cloth um if you're going to be using a healer or a um a like boomkin or an, an ellie shaman they they can wear these and gain power from them and still use them so it's the most effective way to sort of do your marks because the main reason you're wearing these is for that 10 percent xp bonus because it is actually quite massive um shoulders i would not recommend buying these with your emblem of heroism because the next place that we're going to go which is winter grasp i'm going to show you what you can buy with your stonekeeper shards um, so I'll see you when we get there. Alrighty, guys. So we have arrived here at Wintergrasp. Um, you're going to come over here to this quartermaster right here on the mammoth, at least for the horde side. And you sort of scroll through his stuff. This is where you can get these awesome uh, PvP, uh, or I guess, stone shard heirlooms. Um, he sells shoulders of every type, uh, mail and plates, as well as leather and then the cloth ones. Um, they have resilience on them because they're meant for PvP. Um, same with these weapons. They have a lot of Stam or Brazil. Um, but they're still heirloom weapons that have a lot of power as well as some heirloom shoulders that have a lot of power. They're mainly angled towards PvP, but you should still use these. Um, I bought these shoulders right here to go with my uh, chest piece that I bought. Um, I'm actually using them on my Boomkin right now to sort of level that character as fast as I can. Um, and yeah, so that's just what you can do it in order to acquire stone keeper shards You have to have the essence of wintergrass buff, which is they change how you get it because it's like uh, It's not server wide and um, that's definitely a whole nother subject to get into but pretty much if you have this uh, the the stone keeper shards will drop off of every uh, boss that you sort of do as well as you can do these weekly wintergrass quests to earn some and do um, winter grasp but um, definitely would recommend that, especially if you're trying to level alts at any point in, uh, in Northrend or Wrath, like, they're so good. Um, then also, if you didn't guys didn't know, a little treat here before we get to the last place, there is actually a portal back to Dalaran, so you don't have to fly here, but just wanted to sure to let you guys know that. And then finally, the 
next place we're going to go is the Honor Heirlooms in Orgrimmar, and I will show you what that is. So we'll see when we get there. Whoop! Alrighty guys, so apparently I am mistaken. The Honor Heirlooms are not out in the game, so you cannot buy them with Honor. You can only buy them with Emblems of Heroism and those Stonekeeper Shards that I showed you. But to sort of wrap up why you should do this, just to give you a little bit of a breakdown, most Wrath of the Lich King quests give you 20k XP for doing them. And when you're wearing both heirlooms, they give you about 24k, 20% more per quest, and it's actually quite insane. So doing the math there, every fifth quest, you get a quest for free in XP. So it just completely reduces, on a pure just questing note, how many quests that you have to do in order to get max level. And that value is so insane that if you plan on getting an alt, at any point in this expansion or at any point ever like from now on once you get your first 80 you should get heirlooms asap and i would recommend those cloth ones because they can be used on every single character um once you start to get to the point where you don't need your emblems or anything like that on your character then definitely start to look to get more specialized ones but until then i would highly highly recommend that you sort of uh get yourself a set because the value is so great and getting as many 80s as you can for dailies stuff like that can really help your account out a ton and save you a lot of gold but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video that's pretty much everything there is to know about heirlooms as well as their values and until next time i'll see you later Bye bye if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day, and that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.